Alright. Welcome to part 63 of Let's Play Chrono Cross. Um, something about Razzly, but we don't have a Razzly. Because we get Razzly in the same kit scenario. That's, that's a pretty decent reason why we don't um, Decent reason why I don't have Rasly. All right, so I can skip this part. Actually, the only tech left that we need, I think, is um, Starkey. Go in. This, I believe, is the uh, next. The, is the next thing. The 
question I suppose is whether we have enough enough red. We need to have enough red. ship? We have to bring Starkey here. Yeah, we do, I guess. I've got a magnify. What else can we... Now one of these slots is probably probably good for a um, for the Chrono Cross itself. really don't know what to put there. For the moment, maybe just to heal all. And if we have an extra volcano, which I don't think we do. charge. I actually quite like the idea of having that instead. And then another inferno I guess. I we'll have to bring Starkey here. Yes we do. I'm gonna fight a couple of battles. Do -do -do. survive. visit the home world version of this? I can have a quick check. 
very possible I did not. Teleporter, yes. Unfortunate. Um, there he is. Do I bother outfitting him? Probably not. He's not entirely... spend too much time outfitting Starkey because it's not it's not strictly important took care of the nasty monster. Hopefully it's not a respawner. Starkey ship in this world not broken. Starkey, I'm happy. Could that be the reason why we have air down here? Affirmative. Starkey ship creates a special force field. Starkey think in the other world, Starkey ship is in pieces and the parts are buried underground but still working. Yeah, it opened. Yeah, everything is in order. Navigation system is operational. Starkey's bed is nice and cozy too. Can this take us to Terra Tower? The ship is only big enough to fly Starkey. Then what do we do? Leave it to me. The engine may be a bit rusty, but otherwise perfect. Oh yeah, that. 
Hmm. Maybe we can use this. Starkey may be able to scrounge up more stuff. Starkey will come back later. Easy does it. What is this? It's an anti-gravity device. If you attach this to your boat, it will fly to Terra Tower easily. All we need now is a facility to install it. I remember there was a dock inside of Chronopolis. Alright, let's be on our way to Chronopolis. Let's see. Starkey need this and that. Oh yeah. This should do the trick. Oi. All I have to do is load that thing on the boat, right? What are you talking about? We need to attach a stabilizer to keep the auto gyro from spinning out of control. I don't get it, but just hurry it up, okay? Time to get to work. You, Starkey, I'm done. See, all you did was load it on the boat. Negative. Never expected our encounter to turn out like this, did you, Serge? I, I think we missed some text. Why were we born? Where do we live? So we gotta find out with our own eyes. I mean, let's go. Hurry it up, will you? Come on, search. Okay. Let's do it. Looks like they're taking us straight to this part of the game. Come on. Yeah, we don't want to go straight into the tower. But with the gyros and all that, we can actually go to the tower now. So the real purpose that you can't actually fly the ship, which is kind of sad, but <laughs> you know. All right, we go back in.
Sorry, I wonder if Starkey can find anything else. Hmm, only junk. Wow, so this is where it was. Easy does it. Yeah. So we've basically got all the um, text now that we could um, potentially pick up. So that would leave the triangle. Okay, I do know where to go next. But, um, we're going to... Maybe a couple things, actually. Thank you. 
<laughs> I can demonstrate this. Basically, to get these materials, you have to defeat enemies using a summon of each color. So we would have to use summons in every color. And when you do that, the enemies drop the um, to defeat enemies with summons, but I think that the white ones heal, so I don't... I'm not entirely sure if that's the way that that gets done. and fellow believers would come here to worship. It's quite lively, particularly during festival season, so I'd miss those days. Years ago, these spirals were considered a holy place by the worshippers of the divine dragon faith. Then hordes of humans began to migrate to these islands and we were pushed into the outlying regions. The cultural takeover that ensued, the spiritual significance of places such as this was soon forgotten. explain that. Don't inside of here. Hey, Captain, let's head home. Let's go in. It appears that an altar at the back of this cave was made to house the dragon tier. But the strange thing is that there was only meant to be one dragon tier in this land, and yet the altar was holding two stands. I 
wonder what that coincidence could be. She lore reveals that the Dragonites knew a certain land formation they called power spots. Here they are said to have used as the natural enemy of the plane to generate elements. I almost got stuck there. This is an altar of the divine dragon worshippers, then maybe Stina knows something about it. Oh, do we really have to take her with? So we have to come all the way back out. I'm just going to check out my, um, By the great dragon gods. This aquarium of divine dragon falls still exists and it seems functional. It's just as the legends of the old said it would be. What a blessing. Realizing its power, we may just be able to create the chrono cross here. Try placing the two places piece of the dragon to to of hate and love on these stands. This weapon is very specifically used for the final boss. That's it for that. Um...
Viper being our yellow. I think I've designated to be Lu Lucia. Time is the best place to um, farm some of these enemies just due to the sheer power of some of our characters at the 